Hello everyone and welcome to day three of the Move With Me series. For today, I have a really nice feel good yoga inspired stretch routine for you because I don't know about you, but my glutes are feeling a little bit sore today after all of the hard work we've been doing the last two days. So when you're ready to get started, let's come to the back of our mat, just in a kneeling position, sitting up nice and tall, take a big shoulder roll up and back, finding your beautiful straight posture. Then inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower your hands down in front of your heart. And again, inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Then stretch your arms forward, coming into your first child's pose. Really reach through your fingertips. Let your forehead rest heavy on the mat. Taking this time to bring your awareness into your body and into your breath. Nice inhales through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Then on your next inhale, ripple your spine forward to your hands and your knees. Arch your spine, look up. Exhale, round your spine and shift your hips back to your child's pose. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale as you shift forward, arch your spine. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale as you round and press back. Just two more. Inhale. Moving with your breath here. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. Really opening through your heart center. And exhale. Press back. On your next inhale, shift your weight forward. Arch your spine, then exhale, bend your elbows and lower your chest, then your chin down to the floor. Carefully lower your hips and let's take our fingertips onto the mat next to our shoulders with our elbows lifted. On your inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, coming into a baby cobra and exhale, lower back down. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale as you lift your chest, roll your shoulders back. Exhale as you lower. Maybe coming up a little bit higher each time you lift your chest. Gently warming up our spine here. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Then take your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, press up, curl your toes under and exhale, press back into your downward facing dog. Keeping your knees bent here for your first downward facing dog. Really press through your hands, activating through your shoulders, finding one long line all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Then let's start to just pedal our heels, alternate bending our knees, pressing one heel down towards the mat at a time, really releasing any tension through the back of our legs. Then press both heels down into the mat, lift your heels high and take a few steps forward until your feet come in between your hands. Bend your knees and just fold over your legs here. Holding on to opposite elbow with opposite hands. Just let your body hang. Let the muscles in your back just relax. Maybe sway side to side. 
Then release your hands, keeping your knees bent, roll your spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Then on your inhalation, reach your arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. On your inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and dive over your legs, coming into your forward fold. Then inhale, halfway lift, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. Exhale, fold, maybe holding on to the back of your calves, coming into a deeper forward fold. Just taking nice deep breaths here. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Beautiful. Let's release our hands down to the mat and carefully step back into your plank position. With your knees lifted or down on the floor, on your exhale, lower yourself down to your mat. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, coming into your cobra or upward facing dog, if that feels good for you. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Let's extend our right leg up to the ceiling now. Open your hip and bend your knee. Make sure here that your shoulders are nice and square to the mat, still pressing through your shoulders. Then let's take a few big hip circles here, taking nice big circle with that right leg, releasing any tension through our hips. As big a circle as you can. Let's do one more. Beautiful, extend your legs, square off your hips, then shift your weight forward and step your right foot to the outside edge of your mat, keeping your toes turned out. With your hands underneath your shoulders, keeping your back knee lifted, let's just rock forward and back. This is a really good stretch for our hips. You should feel a nice release through that left hip flexor here, as well as your right. Keeping your shoulders down and back, chest as lifted as you can. Let's now hold that left heel pressing back and flow through this stretch. So inhale, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, bend your elbows and dive forward. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bring your chest closer to the floor. Just two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Beautiful. Let's set our left knee down now, uncurl your toes, and then roll onto the outside edge of your right foot and carefully with your right hand, press or push your right knee away from you, looking over your right shoulder if that feels good for you. Taking deep breaths here as we release through our hips. Either stay here or if you want a deeper stretch, reach your right arm back, bend your left knee and hold on to your left foot. On your next inhale, push your left foot into your hand, really opening through your shoulder. Stay here or exhale carefully, bring your left heel closer towards your glute. Feeling a really nice stretch for that left hamstring. Wherever you are, just breathe. Try to stay relaxed through your upper body, relaxed through your jaw. And 
Then carefully release, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, curl your left toes under, pick up your back knee and press back into your downward facing dog. Let's switch sides. So extend your left leg up towards the ceiling, open your left hip and bend your knee. Let's take those nice big hip circles again releasing any tension through that left hip really press down through the heel of your right foot keep pressing through your hands keeping your chest square to the floor beautiful extend your legs square off your hips now and let's take a big step forward to the outside edge of our mat with our left foot making sure your left toes are slightly turned out, your knee tracking over your ankle. Just take a few rocks forward and back. Just gently stretching out our hips here. This should feel really good. Then hold your right heel pressing back. Let's take that nice flow. So inhale, open your chest. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your forehead closer to the mat. And again, inhale, open. Exhale, lower. Two more. Keeping that nice strong back leg. Last one. Well done. Set your back knee down, uncurl your toes, roll onto the outside edge of your left foot and carefully push your left knee away from you with your left hand, taking your gaze over your shoulder if that feels good for you. If you want a deeper stretch, you can reach that left arm back, bend your right knee and hold on to your right foot. On your inhale, press your foot into your hand, opening through that left shoulder. And then exhale, draw your heel closer towards your glute. This is an intense stretch, so just concentrate on your breath here. Nice inhale and exhale. Breathing out any of that tension. Then carefully release, take your hands back down onto the mat and this time step back into your plank position. Inhale to prepare, then exhale, bend your elbows into your chaturanga. Inhale, press through your hands, roll your shoulders back, upward facing dog. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take one deep breath here. Then look up in between your hands, lift your heels and step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then carefully roll your spine up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, lower your hands down in front of your heart. From here, rooting down through your left foot, inhale, reach your arms up, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Then on your exhale, swing your arms back, bend your right knee and come into a nice dancer position. And again, inhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Exhale, send your right leg back, sweep those arms back, open through your heart center. And again, two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. 
Then inhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest. This time, on your exhale, let's bend our left knee, extend your right leg back, coming in to your warrior three position, just for a moment. Then very carefully step your right foot back, lift your chest, lift your arms up, finding your high lunge. Really draw your navel in, keep your ribs closed in, slightly tuck your pelvis under and bend into that front leg, feeling a really nice stretch here. Then inhale, open through your heart a little bit more. Exhale, take your hands to prayer and lean forward, twist over your left leg. Really make sure here that you're pressing your top hand into your bottom hand to find a length through your spine. And then on your exhale, find a deeper twist. Let's come down onto our right knee for this one, just to give our legs a little bit of a break and that we can really just concentrate on our twist. So on every inhale, feel like you are lengthening through the crown of your head. And on your exhale, press through your hands and try to find a deeper twist. Then inhale, come back through center, reach those arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down to the mat. Let's curl our right toes under and press back into a forward fold, straightening your left leg, flexing your left foot. Keeping your hips nice and square here, let's flow through this stretch. So inhale, shift your hips forward, lift your chest, coming into your lunge. Then exhale, shift your hips back, finding your forward fold. Three more, inhale, lunge. And exhale, fold. Inhale, and exhale, last one, then let's shift our hips forward, take your hands flat on the mat, step back, take a nice inhale, exhale chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Look up in between your hands, step or hop forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root through your heels, roll yourself up, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Okay, this time a rooting down through our right foot. Pull your left knee in towards your chest, standing up nice and tall. Then exhale, sweep your arms back, bend your left knee, reach your left toes up to the ceiling. And then lift your knee up towards your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Moving with your breath. Inhale. And exhale, really opening through your heart center. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good job, let's pull our left knee in towards our chest. And this time, bend your right knee, extend your left leg back, coming into your strong warrior three, just for a moment. Then with control, step your left foot back, coming into your high lunge. Really draw your navel in, drop your tailbone, and then shift your hips forward. Making sure that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Nice strong legs here. Then on your next inhale, open through your chest just a little bit more, finding a slight back bend. Exhale, hands come down to prayer. Lean forward and twist over your right leg. 
to really press your hands together. Inhale, find the length through your spine. Then exhale, twist over your, your right shoulder. Let's set our left knee down, giving our legs a little bit of a break here, especially after our bar cardio class yesterday. I think our legs deserve a little bit of a break. Really breathe into this twist here. Nice inhales and exhales. Then come back through center, inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, take your hands down to the floor. Curl your toes under and let's press back into our forward fold, straightening our right leg, flexing our right foot. Let's return to our flow. So inhale, shift forward to your lunge, open your chest. Exhale, press back. Three more, inhale, lunge, exhale, fold. Two more. Last one. Beautiful job. Let's shift forward into our lunge. Take your hands flat on the mat. Step back into your plank. Take a nice inhale to prepare. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Really roll your shoulders back. And exhale, press back into your final downward facing dog. Okay, from here, lift your heels and step or hop yourself to seated at the front of your mat. Bring your legs out in front and very carefully, let's roll ourselves all the way down onto our back. Shuffle your heels closer towards your glutes. Make sure they are hip distance apart and then pressing down through the heels of your feet. Let's lift our hips up, finding our bridge position. Interlace your fingers behind your back and roll your shoulders under so that you find a deeper opening through your chest. So unlike our bridge position in Pilates, with this one, I really want you to think of sending your hips up as high as you can to the ceiling and really opening through your chest. Really press down through the heels of your feet. Feeling a nice opening for our heart center as well as for our back body. Then let's release our hands and carefully roll your hips back down. Let's let our knees fall open, bring the soles of your feet together. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Just close your eyes here. Take nice deep breaths. We're going to do that one more time. Or if wheel pose is in your practice, you could also come into wheel pose. Okay, let's bring our knees in, coming back to our bridge position. Let's press our heels down and lift your hips up, coming into your bridge. Now either stay here, or if wheel pose is in your practice, or if you wanna give it a try, let's start with our hips down. Reach your arms up to the ceiling, and then place your hands underneath your shoulders. Really wrap your elbows in. Your fingertips are pointing down towards your shoulders. Then pressing through your heels, let's lift our hips up into our bridge pose. Then from here, using the strength of your arms, really wrap your elbows in. Let's press ourselves up onto the top of our head. Readjust your hands if you need to. 
so that they are underneath your elbows. And then in one strong motion, pressing through your legs and your arms, let's press up into our wheel pose. Really important here that you are pressing through your hands and your feet equally. Taking nice deep breaths. Really trying to send your heart through the gateway of your shoulders and your arms. Maybe you want to rock back and forward a little bit here, doing what feels good for you. Let's take one last big inhale. Then exhale to come down, tuck your chin in towards your chest and carefully lower yourself back down onto the mat. Well done. Let your knees fall open. Bring the soles of your feet together. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Close your eyes and just take this time to feel all of the wonderful benefits of such a heart opening pose as that. Then let's carefully guide our knees together and hug our knees in towards our chest. Rock your spine side to side, releasing any tension through your back. Then from here, let's rock the length of our spine up to seated and come into a nice forward fold. So extend your legs out in front of you, flex your feet, inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, hinge forward, reaching towards your toes. Just let your body relax here. If you need to keep a soft bend through your knees, please do. This is our counter pose to that back bend that we did. So I just want you to relax in this stretch so you can feel your spine just release any of that tension. Beautiful. Let's carefully roll our spine up to seated and come now into a wide legged seated position. So extending your legs out to the side, they don't need to be that far open. They can be just at a nice V. Make sure that your knees and your toes are pointed up to the ceiling. Then on your inhale, reach your right arm up and over, coming into a side stretch. Taking your gaze up towards the ceiling if that feels good for you. You should feel a really nice stretch through the right side of your body. Beautiful, let's switch sides. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Really reach through your left fingertips, reach through that top arm to find a deeper stretch. And then come back through center. Let's flex our feet now, making sure your toes are pointed up to the ceiling and either stay here sitting up nice and tall, focusing on activating through your legs. Or if you want to come into a deeper stretch, place your hands in front of you and carefully walk your hands forward. Maybe just coming down onto your forearms. I really want you to focus on rolling your knees back, making sure that your knees and your toes are pointed up towards the ceiling.
and just try to breathe and relax in this stretch as best you can. Then very carefully, let's walk our hands back towards our body. Close your legs in and find a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach your arms up, look up. And exhale, lower your hands down in front of your heart. One more, inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, lower your hands down. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's stretch class and that you have the most beautiful day ahead. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day four. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video Leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel.